Hey everybody, I'm here doing your What's Happening in Love for July 16th through the 23rd for Earth Signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. That's Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Um, with this reading, oh, sorry, set my camera right now. With this reading, you um, pick a pile, and um, that's your situation. So I get three different situations, spirit and angels. For Earth signs for the 16th through the 23rd. Okay, one of them flipped. The middle pile is the deception card. Way too many. Too many, way too many. There we go. Okay, so the first situation we have we've got children, your love life is being affected by children, earth signs. So for this group of you, um, you could be holding off on leaving a partner because they are the uh, parent, the other parent to your children. Um, this relationship is going to end um, in a in a fair and balanced way. Um, the karmic scales are balancing out for this group of you. Um, you're kind of ignoring everything though. You're kind of ignoring all the um, drama, all the turmoil, all the hurt um, that's going on around you. And you're just shutting everybody out. You are trying to figure things out. You're shutting down. Um, the Spirit is encouraging you to um, keep persevering, to keep pushing through. Um, what is meant for you is on the other side of this um this situation that you have to get through in order to bring your blessings in. Quit turning a blind eye to what is going on around you. The hurt, the pain is there. Um, it's time to um, move this relationship to a more balanced um, situation for this group of you. I do see this in a divorce. The divorce is going to um, end in a, uh, in a fair way through the justice system. Um, but send your prayers up to the universe. Ask them for guidance. Ask them for help. Um, don't worry about your children. They are going to persevere just fine through this as well. And you will be rewarded for your hard work. The second group of you. Okay. So deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. The web weaver, which is divine guidance, intelligence, synchronicities, and cause and effect. The three of pentacles in reverse and the eight of wands. So you are getting in communication. Somebody is getting a hold of you um, in regards to a third party ending. There's deception because somebody is deceiving themselves. Um, somebody is deceiving their two part. This is a third party situation. So obviously there's deception going on. One party thinks that the third party is over um, and the other two people know it's not. You are getting communication in about this um, earth science. Uh, this is being done to you, I'm receiving, I'm hearing. But um, divine intelligence is coming for you. They are going to show you the correct path to take, the cause and effect. Um, you know, 
the bad karma is, you know, given with bad karma, it cause and effect. What you get, you put. What you get, what you put in, you get back. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, but third parties are coming to an end in this uh, situation. Um, you're going to know which direction to move. The, the divine is um, trying to communicate with you. They are trying to show you synchronicities. They're trying to show you <coughs> signs on where to go next. <clears throat> oh, this last group's amazing. Okay. This situation includes a marriage, the spirit whisper, divine guidance, higher knowing, the star, and the knight of uh, swords. On the Nine of Swords, it looks like he's, um, you know, racing in. He's um, yielding his sword. He's coming in. But really what he's doing, he's following the swallows. And he's following the swallows through the storm to safety. He's going home. He's going back to where he's meant to be. He has been off to war. He is now coming back to where he belongs. And this is your wish come true. This person is coming back because you've manifested this. This, this is your wish and their wish. Um, to be together because this is divinely guided. This is a twin flame connection. You both know the higher connection between the two of you. You both know the connection that you share is spiritual and intense and passionate. And this is going to, um, this is going to end in a twin flame marriage. Um, very beautiful this week. This person is coming back to you this week or sign, or you are returning to somebody the 16th through the 23rd. This person is coming back home. Because it's once the stars aligned, you can't deny it because it's divided by or it's guided by the universe. So very, very beautiful um, reading for that group of you. So just as a recap, um, this group of you, you need to um, quit holding off on ending this relationship just because you have children. You will persevere. You will get through this. You have to quit ignoring what's going on around you and um, let the scales of justice balance out and let this relationship end. So you can have the blessings that you are entitled to for this middle group of you. Uh, the universe is trying to show you the science. The universe is trying to tell you um, which direction to go into. So watch for synchronicities. Someone's wearing a false mask, whether it be you or, the, or your partner. Somebody's got a third party in this group. And communication is going to open up, and that is coming out in the open. And this group, um, you have divine... Uh, a divine relationship coming in for you. Twin flame is returning the week of the 23rd or the 16th through the 23rd because they're being divinely guided in this direction. Your prayers and, and wishes are coming true and they are following the swallows home. So earth signs, I hope you enjoyed your what's happening in love and I will talk to you next time.